What a lovely day. Look at the look at it. Only a small little cloud in the sky. Nice and sunny look. I like it round here because it's peaceful. Little bike tracks. Very nice. I'm just out, I've, I like this little car park, this is a very nice little car park, so I've just come here today, because remember that I got that carnage from um, Malcolm, that FTX carnage, well, I thought to myself, this is a good opportunity, because I get a lot of people send me messages where they bought carnages, and they're not able to get them to run right, or stuff like that, you know, and I thought to myself, well, this is a good opportunity, I've got brand new carnage here, which had problems to start with, I managed to resurrect it, got it running all right on the bench and I thought to myself this is a good opportunity to make a, a video or two on how to get it to to run right and uh, the end of the running in process and also tuning so that's what I've just that's what I'm here to do I'm doing it now uh, obviously this is like a side video um, I've already made most of the video on the running in and the tuning this is a perfect size little car park you know you can blast up and down I like this one they have put barriers on them since so so I was a bit worried that we're going to be locked but it wasn't so that was handy but yeah this is a lovely this is a lovely carnage I mean you'll see I'll put some of the footage in here in this video I'll put some of the footage in it and you can see how well it was going um, I've got it got the tune quite there it's not perfect at the moment I'm still doing some adjustments um, but I got the tune there near enough and uh, I tell you what it's a nice little buggy nice little fast one and um, yes for those of you asking they are these are the false engines and you see there pull start there's a false models and, um, I know a lot of you are moaning about the, the sh engines weren't you the sh ones uh, this is a, a false and, uh, so is my other carnage as well that's also the same they're identical cars um, both exactly the same cars but <clears throat> yeah I'm just uh, enjoying the weather I mean look I love this it's a perfect little car park got some ambulances over there I don't really know why there's I think they're private ambulances I don't think they're NHS ones but um yeah you can blast up and down this road if you want to look that little road there that goes all the way down there Sometimes I bring the um, Savage and all that down here and have a blast up and down because it's not smooth enough to do like a, an on-road car, but for off-road cars, buggies and that, it's, it's all right, it's pretty good. Nice little units. Yeah, perfect little car park. Love it. You know what, I think what what's going on is with these with these buggies they're, they're actually pretty good i mean i actually think that these carnages are actually quite good you know for the money that they used to be um you can look them up right now and you can buy one of these for about 160 quid now the price is starting to go down they went up to about 200 uh, 202 i think was the most i see one for sale brand new um they've gone down to about 170 160 quid now um and i think they're pretty good value for that um you know they're, they're a good start in to get you started in nitro uh, but at the same time if you're going to start in something you need something which is going to be good if that makes any sense because what a lot of people tend to do is they buy something which is not very good to start in nitro and obviously because they buy something that's not very good they have a lot of trouble with it and they think that the trouble is with nitro in general and then what <laughs> <laughs> what happens is they give up that I'm nitro shit. I don't like nitro. It's, it's awkward. It's difficult. It never works, which isn't true. It isn't true at all. Nitro is very reliable. Nitro is, you know, it works. If you do it properly, the nitro engine will work all the time. Nitro cars are very, very reliable. But so I think the carnages, they're a good basis. You know, you get those other ones, don't you? The backwash and all that. The other unscrupulous companies sell, but the carnage. I think that's the one to go for, to be honest with you. So if you're looking to start out with a nitro car, go get yourself a carnage because you know the the the, the price is going back down, and you know they're a good the good quality for the price. I think at the moment, anyway. Things with the carnages is, as we know, the the rear drive shafts. They you know 
they do tend to fall out, but you can buy those CV jointed ones, put them in, and away you go, and uh, <laughs> you'll be well happy. I think the, the key is it's the same with anything. Shop about. If you're gonna if you're gonna buy something, shop about because there is a lot of places that they want to make as much money as possible. It's as simple as that. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you would agree. So they get these carnages for. I think um, some of you might be able to correct me on this, but I'm pretty sure the wholesale price is about ninety eight pound. Um, I could be very wrong on that. My figures are probably about a year old. <laughs> Because I was looking into buying some um, cars and stuff at wholesale and selling, you know, because I had a, I knew someone who, you know, could get me wholesale stuff. And it was £98 for a carnage wholesale. And obviously shops want to make their profit, that's why you, you pay what you pay. Um, but some places they want to make oh, £100 profit, so they're selling for 200 quid. Um, so shop around, I and mean, I can guarantee you'll get them for less than 200 quid now. I've just noticed that this unit here, that's for let. You could let that 534 square feet. That's a, that'd be a nice one. That's the sort of unit that I wouldn't mind. Look, you've got a little car park out front. Set up a nice little shop, couldn't you? A little shop in there. A lot of these are nice out of the way, you know, in, in, the, in the end of a, an industrial estate or a business park, as they like to call it. You know? It's a bit of a bigger one there. But uh, I, don't, I think that one might be for let as well because there's no name above it. Maybe they're, all of them are. Apart from them two at the end, they've got names above them. But I remember these used to be let out because they used to be names, and I can't remember what they were. But this would be ideal, wouldn't it? Nice little shop in there, car park for your customers. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, they're expensive. Renting a unit's bloody expensive. But then again, obviously buying is as well. Anyway, that's enough chatting about crap. I'm gonna go and finish making the video of uh, tuning this up and uh, I'll catch you a lot on the next one thanks for watching I thought I'd just uh, have a little chat with you because I was sort of sitting here and I thought oh you know what I've done a bit of that video making for that let's have a little chat with the rest of you just a general chat <laughs> hope you're all today's a Sunday and um, what's the I ain't got a watch on me watch broke so I ain't got a watch anymore I'm spending all my money on RC cars I can't afford a new watch <laughs> but um, no I was just playing around and uh, it's a Sunday morning I've got to go and get me shopping this morning so I thought I'll come out a little bit early and um, before I go and do the food shop come out a little bit early have a little play around make a video um, two videos now and um, yeah I love a Sunday morning because it was so peaceful like not many people working so all these car parks normally during the week these are all full up because all the business is working and on Saturday as well but uh, on a Sunday, everything's peaceful. Have a little play around and then go home and have a Sunday roast. I've got to go and do some gardening later though. Um, but yeah, sweet. Catch you later on. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.